but let's get started. It's week two. We're talking about interest loans and investments today. All right. Now, uh, Kier will back me on this. A couple of years ago, we used to actually have the formulas, interest formulas, uh, compound and simple interest. We don't really use the formulas anymore. Yes, there are some interest calculations that you can do year by year. But most of the scenarios now are uh, repayment scenarios. So we're going to have most look at mostly those tonight. And here is your first one. Okay. So here we see uh, Mr. Tao plans to renovate his house and it costs 25,000 Rand to renovate. He approached his bank, as you do, for a personal loan. And he was provided with a personal loan repayment plan, as shown in the table below. So there's the payment plan. There's a whole lot of, ta a whole lot of numbers in this table. <clears throat> and if we read through here, we can see that on the top, it says monthly repayment for different periods with an interest rate of 9.75%. Okay. Uh, so in the top here, we have the time periods. We've got 6, 12, 24 months, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Whoopsie. Excuse me. Let's go back down there. And then at the left-hand side here, in the left-hand column, we've got the loan amounts. So these are different loan options over here. All right. So the bank provides you with all these options and you get to choose which one you like. Now, we used to learn how to calculate exactly how much you used to owe and then work out a monthly repayment. But the bank does this for us now, which is fantastic. Um, so, when you get presented with this information, and a lot of banks and finance departments do this, like when you buy a car or when you um, have a loan for a house, or if you want to buy a TV on higher purchase and things like that, you get these monthly payment plans, these monthly premium plans. Okay. And if we look across the values here, these monthly values, we can see that they get smaller from left to right. All right. And they get smaller from the bottom up. All right. So, it's all uh, a, uh, an exercise in affordability. You will have a budget, a monthly budget, because you will get paid monthly, and you will go to a table like this and say, hmm, which one of these monthly payments will I be able to afford? All right, obviously, you want to look at the loan amounts as well on the left-hand side and see what I want to loan. Um, but then you will look across here at the different monthly payment options and see which one can I afford. And you will immediately want to actually go for the lowest payment plan. But if you do calculations with these things, sometimes the lowest monthly premium isn't always the best option because you often pay, end up paying more if you take the loan out for a longer period of time. And you can do calculations on that. We might have to do one tonight, we'll see. Uh, so those are all the options for Mr. Tao uh, in his uh, house renovation. The banks offered these amounts. Then we have notes here at the bottom and it says here we have an initial administration fee of 1,207 Rand. And the banks love admin fees. They love them. They say to do this and to start this loan off, you have to pay us 1,207 Rand and 50 cents. Uh, you don't have to pay it every month. It's just an initial payment. But underneath that, we have a monthly admin fee. The banks also love admin fees. And they say a monthly fee is payable of 69 Rand. So besides your premium that you're gonna pay or uh, your monthly repayments you're gonna pay here, you also have to pay back a monthly administration fee. Okay, so we've got an initial fee and then we've got a monthly administration fee. All right, let's see what the questions are. We know now what's in the table. Let's see what the questions are. There's the first question. Question number one. Determine how much of his own funds Mr. Tao will have to use to renovate the house if he takes a loan of 10,000. Now, up here at the top, it said he needs to renovate the house for 25,000 Rand. That's what he needs to renovate the house. Uh, and he wants to take a loan out of 10,000 over here. So they're asking us if he takes a loan of 10 and his renovation costs 25, how much of his own money will he have to use? That's easy enough. You guys should be able to do that in a minute or two. Should take you a minute. You should spit out that answer very quickly. 
We should see answers coming up in chat there. You guys should be able to work that out. The renovation costs 25,000. The loan he wants to take is 10. So how much of his own money? Yes, yes, yes. We all got it. Good. How much of his own money will he have to pay? Yes. All right, good. The answers are coming through. Uh, he's going to have to pay, good, 15,000 Rand. All right, so for the marks, we're going to say 25,000 like you guys are doing, I'm sure. Minus is 10,000 that he's going to loan means he will have to take out of his pocket 15,000. Very good. Nice and easy to start off with. Questions are usually scaffolded like this with the easy questions first and going harder down the bottom. That's why I like to leave the meaty meaty questions right at the end guys i'm just warning you now for all the people that like to run at the end and and threaten with emojis and stuff like that i've got a stink of a question here at the end with nine marks all right it's uh it's a it's a big one okay so we'll but we'll try and save that for the end okay so we start off easy and we get harder as we go all right next question here we go. Question number two. Mr. Tao eventually decides to take a personal loan of 10,000 repayable over four years. Determine the initial admin fee as a percentage of the loan amount. Okay. Determine the initial admin fee as a percentage of the loan amount. Now, what is the loan amount? It's 10,000 Rand. What is the admin fee? Here it is at the top, 120750, and the loan amount is 10,000. They're saying, what is this admin fee as a percentage of the loan amount? So those are the two figures you need, and you need to work out a percentage. I'll give you two minutes. So it's the admin fee up there as a percentage of the loan amount here. We need a percentage calculation. You know what goes into a percentage calculation. That should take you two minutes. What percent is the admin fee of the loan amounts? Should take you guys two minutes to do that. All right. So if you look at the question again, it says, determine the initial admin fee as a percentage of the loan amount. Okay, so I've circled the two values. The admin fee is up here, number one, and the loan amount is here, number two. They're saying, what is the percentage of this admin fee, number one, of the loan amount, number two? All right, Fatima there with a the value. You guys, let's see what you guys get. Let's see what you guys get. All right, we've got values coming out. Uh, Leander, that's very big. That's quite a big value, Leander. I think the decimal might be in the wrong place. They just check. Good, we're getting two different values here. I love it when we get different answers. All right, what are you guys getting? Let us know. All right, there's Leech there with a value as well. We should see you guys pushing out values here. Remember, be active participants. You've got to engage. You've got to do the question. Then let me know what you're getting. What values are you guys getting? We've got a couple of people with answers there. Good, good. Well done, Maria. Good job. All right, pen and paper calculator should be working there. Okay, thank you, VUA. All right, good job. Answers are coming in thick and fast. Yes. All right, good. well done, Rotli Lee. Okay, good. All right, we're getting, two, looks like we're getting two different answers. Okay, good. Let's see. Let's see how we do this one. So we've got two values that we need in every percentage calculation. All right. A percentage calculation needs a fraction with a value in the top and the value at the bottom. And then we're going to times it by 100 to get a percentage. All right. Now it says, read the question. What is the initial admin fee as a percentage of the loan? So if I had to say to you, what is 
um, three as a percent, or let's do it like this. What is five as a percent of a value of 10? All right, that's what they're kind of saying. So the two values are five and 10, but the admin fee here is our first value, 120.750. And the loan amount is 10,000. Okay, so there's our fraction. Let's put it into the calculator. So 120750 and underneath we've got 10,000 over there. And this needs to be multiplied by 100 to get a percentage. Let's see what we get. All right, 12,075. 12,075, okay. So I'm gonna write it just 12,075. And we always, always, always round off to two decimal places. So we'll round this off to 12,08%. All right. Always rounding off decimals to two decimal places. Any questions? You're all good? If you have a look at your calculation and you have a look at mine and seeing a difference, are there any questions at all? Um, sir, Jordan is just asking you if you could just move it up to the first question. All right, there we go, Jordan. No problem. And Rafilia would like you to repeat. Okay, Rafilia. So the question said, uh, determine the initial admin fee, which was, I'll write it here, 120750 as a percentage of the loan amount. Okay. All right, the loan amount is 10,000. So what is the admin fee as a percentage of the loan amount? So we're gonna put the admin fee over the loan amount and times it by 100 to get a percentage. Whew. All right, Jordan, good luck to that. A finance exam, you mean you got the paper one with finance in, I'm sure that's what you mean. Um, all right, everyone happy? We all good? Awesome, well, awesome. I say awesome, Jordan, but... Uh, I'm sure you're going to be fine. Like, I'm sure you're going to be fine. All right, let's move on because we want to get through as many finance questions. Looks like a couple of people are writing finance tomorrow. So let's get on with it. Next question. Determine the total amount that he will have to pay for his loan. There it is there. Number B, determine the total amount that he will have to pay for this loan. Now, this is not the monthly value. It's what he's going to pay altogether for the loan. All right. We know, oh, let's go up to the table now. Uh, I need someone to help me here. It's 10,000 Rand. And who remembers over how many years he's going to pay? I need someone to come online and help me and work and help me out on how we're going to do this one. Who can remember how many years we have to pay? Do you guys remember it in the question or do you want me to go down again? Yes, good. So it's four years, right? So we're working with a 10,000 Rand loan and we're working with four years over here. So this value that we need to look at is 355 Rand and 95. Okay, so that's his monthly payment and he pays it over four years, which is 48 months. And we mustn't forget that he has an initial admin fee and also he has to pay a monthly administration fee of 69 Rand. Okay, who's going to tell me how to do this one? Come on now, anybody. Somebody. Anybody? Somebody. <laughs> Seems like no one wants to join us. Oh, okay, yeah, we have yeah. Kabo. Kabo, please look out on your screen for a message. There we go. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? Okay. You're nervous. You're, you're nervous for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I'm so tired, gonna, but yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna be fine. All right. What do I do? Um, I think you have to say. I'm not too sure. This is just yeah. That's fine. Um, I think you have to say ten thousand. So the loan amount. Yeah. Times, um. Uh, the percentage. Over. Okay, so you, 
Oh, so you actually you actually want to work out how much interest this person is gonna um gonna have gonna have to pay. Yeah. Okay, we don't we don't actually have to do that. So the bank's done it for us, and they've calculated the total amount already using that interest rate there, and they've divided it up into forty eight months and given us a monthly value of three hundred and fifty five ninety five. So they've done that, the calculation you're thinking of, they've done it already. We're just trying to work out in the end, how much is this guy actually going to pay for this loan? Oh, um, you say 48 months times yep. Yep. 355. Yes, yes. So 48 months times 355, 48, 45, 40, 95, jeez. 355, all right, uh, let's do that calculation first. So 48 times 355.95, and let's get the answer here and put it down. And that's 170856, comma six. All right, what should I do now? Are we done or are there any other things that we need to take into consideration here? We need to add the initial administration and then the monthly good. administration. Good, we'll need to add the administration fee. And what do we do with this monthly admin fee? Yeah, don't you add it as well? Yeah, we will need to work out in total how many admin fees he's going to pay because this is a monthly thing. Every month he has to pay uh, this. Oh, so you'd say 69 grand times 48 months, I think. Yep, you're right, on the money. Okay, let's work that out. So 69 times 48, that's 3312. All right, and we still got the admin fee as well, which is 1207,50. All right, so those are the three values and you'd say we've got to add these up. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm not going to write out 17,085 plus 3,312 plus. You guys should do that in the test. I'm just saving time here. So I'm just going to add these up now with my calculator. But you were going to write it out in the exam to show the marker. I know what I'm talking about. So 3312 plus 1207.5. And that gives us a total. I'm doing it vertically, but you guys will do it in a line. All right. So 21605,1. 21605,1. All right, you're all happy with that? Uh, Turan, why are you getting comma two? Just check there, Fatima, yeah. All right, good. Thank you, Kabul. Thank you very much. I'm very tired. Good luck for tomorrow. Um, all right, there we go. So we need to work out the monthly repayment times 48 the monthly admin fee times 48, and then add on the administration fee to get 2106,10. Okay, so literally we have to work out the monthly amount that he has to pay, which is this value here, 355 and 95 per month. You see this question here says, these are monthly payments for different periods. These are monthly payments. So you have to pay 355 and 95 if you want to take 10,000 Rand, over 48 months. So how much will you have to pay in total? Well, you're going to have to pay 355.95 times 48 months. You pay that 48 times, you're going to get 17,085.60. Then the monthly admin fee gets paid every month as well, the 69 rand. That must be multiplied every month. We're doing 48 months and you're going to get 3,312 plus an admin fee at the end here needs to be added on. So there's uh, the admin once off plus monthly admin over there. And this top one here is the premium. Okay, so all three need to be added up to give you your total. Ah, my team is jumping the gun. All right, moving on to the next. Any questions about this? We're good? All good? No worry, Taran, no worries. I'll also do that. Okay, the next question says, then what is the total interest that he will pay for this loan? What is the total interest that he will pay for this loan? The interest. Now, where is the interest in all of this? 
Well, like I said to Chabo, the interest is being calculated for you, all right? It is in these monthly values here. So in this value that he has to pay every month, they've done the interest calculation. They've cut it up into 48 months for you. It's all built into that number, all right? But they want to know now, well, how much interest does he pay? Well, we're just going to look at that part of the calculation. We don't have to look at the admin fee. We don't have to look at the monthly admin fee. That's not part of this. So we're not going to take the, the final value here, all right? So we mustn't take this. Why mustn't we take that? Because that has got the admin fee in it and the monthly admin fee in it. That's not part of the interest calculation. So only thing we want is this one here. This value here has the interest in it. So we need to take that value, 17,085, all right? And then go back to the loan amount that he has to loan, which is 10,000 Rand, and find out what's the difference between the two. All right. So we don't take the bottom numbers or the, or the total here. We're just taking the 17,085 Rand 60. Because if this question didn't mention an admin fee, a monthly admin fee and a once off admin fee, we wouldn't look at them anyway. All right. It's got nothing to do with the interest calculation. The interest calculation is just this first line here. That's where the interest is. It's in the 355 Rand 95, which multiplied by 48 is now in the 17,085 Rand. I hope you guys all understand that. Yes. So we just need to subtract the two, which is nice and easy. All right. So we're going to say this total here, 17,085 and 60, which has the interest in it already, minus the loan amount that he has to loan will tell us how much interest he has to pay. And this one, I don't need my calculator. It's 7085 and 60 cents. I hope you guys will understand that. Are there any questions? If these questions, please let us know. Now, when I saw this question in an exam, I don't know if you can see, but this text here, I've typed it in. This text here comes from the exam. This text that I typed in here, I changed, all right, bec uh, to make it the total amount. I think they worded it wrong. And it originally was for two, so I made it four marks. This calculation here, which says four marks, I believe is incorrect. That should only be two. That should only be two marks there in the exam. Okay. Uh, Harbour, do you want me to do question C or question B? Just let me know. And I really don't mind going over it again. Just let me know. Question C. Or question B. All right. Okay. So they want to know what is the total interest paid for the loan? All right. Uh, so let's go up to the table here. So I want you to first ignore these things at the bottom and just pretend they gave us a table. All right. And they would say, this person is going to pay 355 Rand 95 cents for 48 months to give you a total. Okay, and we saw that that total was 17.085 and 60 cents. Let me write it up here. And 60 cents. All right, so if he pays 355.95 for 48 months, that's how much he will have to pay back. Okay, now I told you that this 355.95, they've done this calculation. They, they applied the interest and they did it over four years and they've done the calculation. They've got a value like this and they cut it up into 48 months. And they said, oh, look, we've cut it up for you. You only have to pay over 48 months this much per month to make up the 17,085 rand and 60 cents. So they've done the interest calculation. We just want to know, well, how much interest did we actually pay? Well, if you're loaning 10,000 and in the end, you're paying that with your interest, how much interest did you actually pay? So we find the difference between those two values. Okay. So we find the difference between the 17,085, which has the interest built in, and the 10,000 Rand that he needs to loan. So the calculation is the difference of those two. So he's actually going to have to pay 7,085 Rand 60 in interest on top of his 10,000 Rand to make the 17,085. I hope that makes sense. All right, but that's definitely not a four mark question, ladies and gentlemen. That's definitely only just a two mark question. All right, to do that. Let's see what's next. Mm. Remember in this question, it should get harder the further down we go. Let's see. 
Number three, Mr. Tao paid his first installment at the end of March 2020. March 2020, he paid his first one. The monthly installments are payable at the end of each month. So they're just saying he started on the end of the month and then the next end of the month, that's one payment. Determine the month and the year when Mr. Tao will pay his last payment. Woo! Determine the month and the year when Mr. Tao will make his last payments. Anybody? February 2024. Yeah, that's going to be the argument, isn't it? Is it February or March? Is it February or March? Determine the month and the year when he makes his last payments. So when he pays that last, last payment, when will it be? You guys are saying February. 2021. Hmm, guys, how many months is he paying? He's paying 20, sorry, he's paying 48 months, hey, which is four years. So first of all, the years need to go up by about four, right? So it has to be 2024. 20, yes. Well, the question is, though, is it March or February? Is it March or February? No worries, Duran. Um, Okay, think about it like this. At the end of February, he hasn't made a payment yet. Okay, so one is at the end of March. So the first month's paid at the end of March. All right. So if you do one year, at the end of March, 2021, he's made 12 payments, which is one year. At the end of March, 2022, that's the end of two years. At the end of March, 2023, that's the end of three years. And the end of March, 2024, it's the end of the fourth year. So I would say for this one, it's gonna be March, 2024. Okay, no problem, no problem. You got to think about this one, huh? Not so easy. Two marks. Oh, it's easy. No, it's not so easy. You got to actually think carefully about this one. But end of March 2024 is when he's going to make his payments. All right. What else they got for us? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mr. Tao received a contribution of 250 Canadian dollars from his son who works in Canada. Calculate. What year is this? Okay, it doesn't matter. Calculate the value of the contribution in rands if the exchange rate is one Canadian is 11.05555. Come on, guys. Calculate the contribution of that 250 Canadian dollars if the exchange rate is one Canadian is 11.055. Ayanda, yes. Come on, guys. All right, Ayanda, just check your screen. There we go. Yanda? Hi, sir. Hey, how are you? I'm good in yourself. Good. Are you matric? Are you writing tomorrow? No, I'm not writing tomorrow, but I am in matric. When are you writing? Um, on Monday. <laughs> what are you writing okay. first? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Good luck for Monday. Hey, but what do we do in this case here quickly? Um, so we're going to uh, take the 11 comma zero five 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 yeah. and time by 250 and then we're going to get an answer and then the answer is going to be the rent very good nice and easy we love it when they give us stuff like this don't we yeah easy yeah. marks easy marks easy money all right so it's two seven six three eight seven five two seven six three Eight seven five two seven oh, sure, two seven six three comma eight seven five. Now we're gonna round off to two decimal okay. places. Always. So what will it be? Two seven six three and um comma eight eight. Very good. All right. There we go. Nice and easy. Well done. Thank you very much.
Thank you, sir. Bye. All right. Bye bye. All right. Two seven six three comma eight eight. Come on, easy question at the end. What's this? What is what is this? Where's the where's the meat? Looking for the meat here. Here's the next contextual question. Ayanda. Oh, someone else raised their hand. Aviwe. Please just check your screen. There we yeah, go. Aviwe, Aviwe you there? Aviva, you there? Aviva in Jandu? Hello? Okay, looks like Aviva is having a problem with the mark. Aviva, if, you, if you're struggling with the mark, just try and uh, type the question in chat. That was Aviva, sorry. <clears throat> All right, no problems. Uh, let's move. Let's check this question out. Guys, if there's any questions anytime, please don't be scared. Don't hold back. Raise your hand or you can type it into chat. You can send uh, Tia Kia a personal message. You can send me a personal message so you don't, don't feel embarrassed. Please don't be embarrassed to ask questions. Okay. So here we go. Mr. Nkorsi intends to buy his first home for $1.45 million. He approached two financial institutions to compare loan amounts between the two. Refer to table two below and answer the questions that follow. So there we go, table two, bond options for Mr. Nkorsi, who's a first time home loan buyer. We've got Investec and we've got FNB. Investec and FNB, all right? Uh, we see there's a, a line called loan amounts. All right, the loan amount. Now he's he wants to get a loan for 1450 but F and B has got a loan amount of 152172. So think about that. What does that mean? All right. Then we have an initiation fee. Uh, guys, the banks love fees. Look at this. An initiation fee of six. This is, and this is realistic. Um, this is no joke. This is how much you're going to have to pay when you buy a house. There's an initiation fee, a bond registration fee, a bond transfer fee. Uh, but F and B is not offering an initiation fee, which is very kind of them. Then that gives us total setup costs. So these setup costs, just to start this loan agreement, are all those. Yes. All right. Then we have the monthly repayments. So they've done the calculation. We don't even see an interest rate. They've done a calculation for you, and they tell you these are the monthly repayment amounts. Okay. How long do we have to pay that for? Well, at the bottom, we can see for FNB. 240 months and we see at the bottom for investec 20 years all right but don't uh, go away because there's also a monthly service fee a monthly i told you the banks love these things monthly service fee which is again 69 rand a month okay look at all the fees it's absolutely ridiculous all right i hope everyone understands this table so far okay Let's move on to the questions and let's see what we got. I think this is where the meat is, ladies and gentlemen. The bank recommends that your bond monthly repayment not exceed 30% of your gross monthly salary. What will Mr. Corsi's gross salary have to be to get a loan? Round off your answer to the nearest 10,000 Rand. All right, so Mr. Corsi's got a gross salary. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna say anymore. Come on, Matrix. You've got finance tomorrow or on Monday or next week or something. Your juices have to flow. Come on now. Let's get the juices flowing. What do I do? I'm not going to say anymore. I'm not going to give anything away. What do I do here? Matrix. Where are you, Matrix? Come on now. We're the, we're the, we're the Matrix that uh, love their finance. What do I do? Yes, sorry, Intando. It's actually load shedding right now where I am. I've got all kinds of funny lights on and batteries plugged in. It's, uh, yeah, it's crazy. What do I do, Matrix? Come on now. Think about it. So the bank says your bond payment, your monthly payment that you're going to pay. I'll go up to the monthly payment now. There it is. You can see it. The monthly payments with the blue arrows there. Okay. All right. The monthly payment cannot be more than 30% of your salary. So what must his salary be if he wants this loan? Come on now, what do I do, Matrix? We've got to think here.
Yes. Timelingi, yes. Yep. You can do it like that. It's perfect. All right. All right. Yes. Matrix. Matrix, Matrix, Matrix. Come on now. Where are you? Ben? Where's Ben? Come on, Ben. Ben's just sitting quietly there. Where are the Matrix? Are they here tonight? They're keeping super quiet. It's like Kia says, it's crickets out there. Yeah, no, hey. Everybody is just like not interested in talking to us tonight. Oh, oh what's wrong with tricks? What's going on? And we are such generous, lovely people. Imagine yeah, we, getting a present at the end of the lesson. Yeah, they should be excited. We've got presents. And uh, Tando. No, not really. Just oh yes, there was. Sorry, Mr. Corsi intends to buy his house. There was no, there was no. If you're looking for a salary in here, there isn't any. Mr. Corsi intends to buy his house for 1.45 million. He goes to two banks, and this is the information that they have provided him. Okay, this is the information they provided him. Rufilo, we've got an answer there. I need you to tell me, Rufilo, how did you get that? Come on now. Refill me, come on. You got it? Come online and tell us how we get this. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Are you writing soon as well? No, I'm in grade 10 still. Oh, geez. Woo! Watch this, guys. Here we go. What do I do? <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know if I'm right. It but just I do. I actually said 30 divided by 100 times 11489 okay you you kind of on the right track so the percentage calculation that you're doing which is 30 over 100 and the 11000 rand needs to be in this those two things do need to be in this no, okay. Okay, now what goes in between uh, is a little bit different to times. It's a little bit different to times. Okay, all right. But you're on the right track. I feel like you're on the right track. Let me thank you for these values. I'm going to I'm going to do something with these values to give you a hint. Okay. So, let me do it like this and then you can tell me, guys, what I do with these things. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it here. Let's read the question again. It says, the bank recommends that your bond monthly repayment, which is this 11,000 here, must not be more than 30% of your salary. All right, now you must be thinking, well, what is that answer of 30% of your salary, okay? Because if we go over this, we're going to be in trouble. All right, so watch what I do here. I'm going to say, I'm going to put pretend things in here. I'm going to say 30%, which is 30 over 100 times his salary. If we work that out and we get this value, he's okay. Right, because it mustn't go more than that. So if we work out thirty percent times the this number, which is his salary, if we get this, we find. So we want to know then, what is the salary number? What math can I do now? Come on, Matrix. Come on now. What math can I do? There's an equation for you. I need to know what the salary is. And I'll make it a little bit easier for you. I'm going to say 30 over 100 is 0, 0,3. So 0, 0,3 times a number equals 11,489.79. Ah, there we go. Bravo. All right. The tricks are tired, but they're still in the game. To find out the salary, we've got to divide. But we do it on both sides. Okay, to get the salary by itself, the 0, 0,3 on the left-hand side there, we can divide by 0, 0,3 and it'll cancel. But what you do on the left, you must do on the right. 
Okay, so the salary will be 11,489,79 divided by 0, 0,3 or 30%. Uh, All right, so let's do that. So there here's the fraction. So 11,489,79 divided by 0, 0,3. Okay, that gives us a big number. That's what we're looking for. So 38299.3. 38299.3. And this looks about right, doesn't it? So if I rub out the word salary and I copy my answer up there. I'll make it a bit smaller. That looks about right, isn't it? 30% of 38,000, 30% of 38,000 is 11,489. Yeah, that looks right. The 0 0.3, I changed uh, the 30%, which I wrote originally as 30 over 100. Because I didn't want to, to show you a complicated fraction. You don't know what to do with it. I, I changed that to... 0, 0,3. 30 over 100, 30 divided by 100, excuse me, is 0, 0,3. So they're interchangeable. 30 over 100 is the same as 30%, which is the same as 0, 0,3. They're all interchangeable. Those th things mean the same thing. All right. Are we all good with this, Patrick? I hope you watched there. I hope you saw it. All right, so 0.3% times 38,299 will give me 11. So if he does, his salary must have been this. All right, so if we say 30% of that number, he gets 1148979, which is exactly how much he needs. If he's over that, uh, sorry, if, you know, if he's over that, then he would be in trouble. So that's how we found that value. I hope you guys are okay with that. But let's, let's see what's next. Guys, there's an even bigger one coming. Oh, gosh. Here we go, question two. Determine the total setup costs A. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Determine the total setup costs A. Numpumelelo has their hand up. There we go. Numpumelelo, you there? Yes, sir. How are you doing? You're right. I'm good, and you, sir. Are you you're matric. Are you writing soon? No, I'm in grade 10, sir. Ah, excellent. All right. What, how do I get A? No, sir. I wanted to ask about the previous question that we were doing just now. Yeah. So I wanted to ask about the answer. Actually, the question says that we should round off our answer to the news 10,000. Mm, absolutely. Thank you very much. So this answer is not done yet so we have to say what must it be are you there yes i'm still thinking okay the nearest ten thousand. okay so I'll, if i point to the numbers uh this is units that's tens that's hundreds that's thousands this one is the ten thousands Yes, sir. So what, what's the closest 10,000? 10, 10,000 go up like this. There's 10,000, there's 20,000, there's 30,000, then there's 40,000, and then there's 50,000 and 60,000. So which one of these must we be closest to? 40,000, sir, because I get 40,000. All right, yes, it's 40,000. That's the nearest 10,000. So 40000. Well done. Thank you. Thanks for that, eh? Good job. Yes, sir. All right, excellent. Thank you. All right, awesome. So the nearest 10,000 for an extra mark. So three marks here, the final mark, sorry, four marks here, final mark being there, an answer, and the calculations will also get you two extra marks there. All right, I hope we're all good. Hope you're all good. We're getting to the meat of this now. We're in the deep, dark waters, swimming with the sharks, but we're okay.
We're okay. Let's see what else is next. Determine the total setup cost of A. Come on, guys. That's not too bad. What is A? How do we work that out? <laughs> Determine the, the, the A. How do we work that out? <laughs> All right, yes, we just add it up. I'm not laughing. We just add it up. Okay, I'm not gonna even I'm not even gonna write it down because I'm desperate to get to the the uh the meat of the question. Two nine two eight oh uh plus two oh four three two point five. So what am I doing? I'm adding up these three setup costs. All right. Those are the what's the total they want? It's 55,750, like you guys are telling me. Yes, you guys are telling me, sir. It's 55,750. You're right. I'll just write it over here. 55,750. Okay, I'm not even going to do the calculations. 55,750. We might need that. Let's see if we do. All right, coming down here now, coming down. All right, let's write the answer here. 55,750. You won't just write the answer. You will do all the calculations to get to this, right? I'm just trying to speed things up a bit because you're running out of time. I want to give you gifts. Number three, when buying a property, you may add all the setup costs to the purchase to the purchase price of the house to get the loan. Determine B, the loan amount for Investec if the house is listed for 1450. What is B if the house is listed for 1450? Then what is the loan amount? What is B? Okay, so they're saying, let's read it again. When buying a property, you add up all the setup costs, which we saw was 55,750, to the purchase price of the house. Yes. Refuel there. Check it. Yes, you there. Hey, sir. Um, hey, you minus the one four fifty by the amount loan for invest for F and B. I think. Where is that? This one. We're doing investic. We're doing investic B here at the top. Oh. Yeah, we're doing that one there at the top. So they say, let me read the question again. Stay with me. Let's read the question again. It says, when buying a property, you add up all the setup costs. And we said that the setup costs are all there. To the purchase mm -hmm. price of the house. What is the purchase price of the house? There it is there. Okay. Okay. Uh, determine B, the loan amount. All right. So that's the, so the, what you're going to loan for is the setup costs plus the purchase price. All right, I'll write the purchase price here. Let me just rub out some stuff because it's looking all distracting. All mm -hmm. right, I'll rub this all out quickly. Otherwise you're gonna be seeing all kinds of funny things. So there's the total setup costs. This is the purchase price of the house, 1450, 1.45 million. Okay, they say you can add the setup costs to the loan amount when you go for this loan. So then, oh. so what's the loan amount? What do we do? You add the two. Yes, you add the two. All right, so we'll quickly do that. Guys, I'm desperate to get to the meat. Oh, I'm gonna miss the meat. So one, four, 50, oh, 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 plus the 55, 750. And we'll quickly do that calculation. So there it is on the screen already, 55,750 plus the 145,000. That gives us a loan amount 1505,750. 1505,750. So that's how much. So what they're saying is, this is how much you're going to go to the bank to get a loan for. So you can include all your setup costs onto the purchase price of the house. And then you go to the bank for that amount. You loan that amount. Yes, you guys are on the money. You got it, Rafili? Okay. Yes, sir. Excellent. All right. Let's move on quickly now, guys. Ooh. The service fee of 69 Rand is not charged by Investec to Mr. Corsi if his loan is paid from his personal account. How much money will he save at Investec over the total period of the loan? So if he has an Investec account, he doesn't have to pay 69 Rand a month. Okay. In fact, we're going to end with this question. Oh, guys, I was so keen to give you this one. 
See, this is my keen face. All right, I was so keen to give you this nine mark question, but it's okay, we'll skip it tonight, shame. The matrix are tired, they stressed. Uh, if you want matrix, you can take a screenshot of that quickly before we answer this question. Take a screenshot of that, all right? And then I'll take a screenshot of the table again. And you can try this on your own if you want. All right, so there's the question, the nine mark big bad boy at the end. And this is the table. 